Welcome back everyone, Meepoo here, and today we are going to play the game Insurmountable with the 1650 Ti on the Acer laptop, okay? Now this is a mountain climbing game, and you will be able to make choices, dire I might add, as you're climbing up the mountain. Um, hopefully we can do that and make it without dying, because I heard that you can die in this game. So let's look and see what options we have looks like we have simple options all right quality ultra you know from what i saw you're not going to be really bothered with any graphical settings i mean it, you're going to see some visuals and that's about it nothing like no call of duty or anything like that so we had new game let's get into it all right choose your mountaineer we have the adventurer the scientist and the journalist okay the adventurer as a guide in the war adventurer, you are always on the lookout for the next big challenge. And then what is this? Sprint, reduce time cost. Let's see a tent. Three uses of the tent. We have some climbing gloves. Uses less than 10% cost. So if it uses 100% of energy, then take 10% off, you know. And then we got some canned food. We got one. Then we have the scientists over here. As an ambitious scientist, you walk the fine line between genius and insanity. And this guy has an eagle eye, increases camera zoom, uh, you have analysis, takes some time to gain experience, a, another tent, you have a hiking staff, and that's the 15% time cost on flat terrain and 15% time cost when climbing. One hike distance, I'm pretty sure that would help. And you got some fur gloves. Lastly, we have the journalist. As an investigative journalist, you travel the world to expose major scandals. And she has single-minded, which ignores negative weather and terrain effects for four hours. So it looks like we have some abilities we can use. Again, fur gloves. She has a climbing axe, which takes away 15% time cost when climbing to height distance. And all the way down the line, three four and five wow this is this is pretty good i guess it would help while you're climbing a mountain i'm pretty sure that's what we'll be doing and then you have a moon herb uh, looks like it gives you some sanity and some hot tea all right so me personally i like to adventure but uh you know i think i'm more of a science person yeah, let's do that. I like to do some analysis. Scientists, you have a revolutionary theory. You believe there is an undiscovered source of electromagnetic energy that could generate enough energy to power the entire world. Experts have derided or pretty much ridiculed and dismissed your theory as science fiction, but your colleagues' narrow-mindedness only fuels your desire to continue your research. When you learn of a mysterious island that essentially appeared out of thin air, you see your chance according to your initial calculations. The conditions in the massive mountain range are ideal for an electromagnetic hotspot. The radiation should be strongest on the peaks. You will need to scale the summits to prove your theory once and for all, and restore your reputation. Sounds good. Choose your difficulty. We have normal. Uh, can you make it to the top? The standard difficulty challenging, but doable. Then we have the bigger challenge, which is locked and insurmountable, which is the title of the game, which is locked away as well. So we'll choose this one. Confirm. Yes. Okay, more choices. Mountain 1. Scale the first summit and find proof of a source of electromagnetic power. All right. Wow, more choices. Choose your route. Okay, we got route one. Sturdy rock, stony terrain provides better grip on this route. Cold nights. The nights on this route are colder than usual. More body temperature loss in the night. Then we got route two over here, firm snow. It's a snowy terrain, provides better grip on this route. It's thin air, breathing is harder on this route. Route three, firm snow. Snowy terrain provides better grip on this route here. Blizzard, the weather on this route is merciless. Increased effect of cold weather. 
Wow. Which one should we pick? Let's go with Route 1. Because I don't know much about air. And this blizzard thing. You know, let's just choose this one. Route 1. Alright. Loading. Okay, this is the first summit, and it says, Ever since you arrived on the island, you know it was exactly the place you've been looking for. Readings from your instruments are off the charts, even at the base of the mountain. And besides that, reclusive indigenous people, remnants of a mysterious occupying force that keeps the existence of the island a secret for years, and rumors of a research station. Can all of this be coincidence? Mm, I don't know, maybe. Outcome is unknown. You look up at the summit. It will be a long journey, but you are spurred on by the thought that you might finally find proof of the source of the electromagnetic readings you've been seeking for so long. Okay, stats, we got 225 XP. All right, here we are. Looks like we can zoom with the mouse wheel. And spinning around with panning. So where do we have to go? Oh, okay, there it is. Way over here. So how do we Alright, let's get some analytics on so we can see what's going on here. All right, looks like the game is locked at 60 FPS. All right, I see some little items moving around. Let's head this way. Left click. And let's see, eagle eye, we have analysis. And it gives us experience, let's do that. Click that one. Oh, we leveled up already. Okay, uh, choose the specialization. We have a consumables expert, which specializes in utilizing consumables. We have a comfort of home one. Whenever you use a consumable item, you get some sanity. Then we have the event expert, which reduces sanity loss in events, which we haven't had any of this yet because we just started. And flat terrain expert, specialized in moving through flat terrain. Reduce energy costs on all terrain. Hey, we have to get this. Reduced energy. Let's move ahead. Left click. All right. Zoom on on the dude. So you can't use any arrow keys to move. It just won't work. It's left click. So you see temperatures looking good for the CPU and GPU. And you know, I might just turn that off because I don't think we'll really actually need it. Don't seem like much action is going on. So when you click, it highlights these down here. Like we have sanity, uh, body temperature, and energy, and oxygen. Each time you click on that, it's going to take some away. From what I've read, and I believe it's why it's lighting up like that. What is this? All right, let's head over. Oh, look, there's something over here too. He's just trucking along. You enter a cave. It's dry and sheltered from the wind. At the rear of the cave, you notice a faint shimmer of light. Let's follow the light. You follow the light. As you approach, you realize that it's coming from hundreds of fireflies. Fascinating. All right, we got some st the status down there. We got uh, what is this? Sanity, and we got some experience. Turning to the cave entrance. You enter a cave. It's dry and sheltered from the wind. So, 
back at start. Let's go ahead and leave. There's some stuff over here I probably need to try to get, but let's head on up because we need to go up. Oh, what's that? Well, we got a long way to go. And we have a clock over here. All right, let's head on. Okay, we have daytime, nighttime. Body temperature. Pretty sure it goes down when it gets cold outside, you know, at night. So I have to go all the way around just to get up here. I can't just like climb up. Wow, it's that might I don't know if that'd be worth it. I mean, because if we do that, we might as well just trek all the way back over here and get all of that. All right, let's go up here. I mean, because we, we don't have that many resources. What we got? Like a tent, got some, some canned food or something like that. An old woman sits in front of a crooked hut. She wears a friendly, toothless smile and motions you to sit with her to recharge your strength. You do, as she suggests, and regain what? Health or warmth? Let's do, uh, let's do health, even though we haven't lost anything. You know what, we might as well go over here. Let's get this. Since we're already here. Wow. And we'll turn this off because there's no need. I see it dropping down a little bit to like 55. But there's not a lot of action going on. And it's frame locked anyway. Just know that it will run on your machine. The branches of a nearby bush are completely covered in spider webs. As you take a closer look, you notice several spiders vanishing into a hole in the ground. You bend over to inspect the hole. It looks like there's something hidden in there. Now, why would you reach into the hole? Well, let's reach into the hole, man. It's probably a snake. <laughs> spiders skitter over your hands, but they don't hurt you. Your fingertips brush something soft, a cloth bag. You pull it out and discover equipment inside. All right. Climbing gloves. Oh, we could use that. Okay, minus 10% energy cost on all terrain. 
and this one you gain body temperature per hour moving and you gain some more temperature while resting we're not going to remove that so we'll just keep it since we're here we'll just go ahead and check this little what is it a little mountain icon You enter a cave. It's dry and sheltered from the wind. Okay. What's that? Around six o'clock? Let's sleep. nightfall well that's different all right we'll head over there it looks like there's a treasure chest or something maybe there's more equipment in there Environment, equipment, traits. You climb up onto a crooked, rickety deer stand built by hunters to survey the terrain and shelter from the elements. A pile of soft furs on the floor looks awfully inviting. You consider taking a rest, a gutted deer hangs from the ceiling, the meat is fresh and juicy, and your mouth starts to water. Well, it's probably somebody's, it's probably not there for a reason, or for me, but uh, let's go ahead and just rest for a second. Your limbs feel heavy, and you struggle to keep your eyes open. Why fight your exhaustion? You feel safe and secure here. Before long, you're embraced by velvety darkness. You don't know how long you were asleep, but you now feel invigorated and bolder than ever before. And we gain some, what is this, energy, we gain some body temperature and experience. And it took 5.8 hours. It's daytime, we leveled up. Cool. Okay, open-minded, we have increased sanity gain in events. We have careful steps. Spend more time when moving, but ignore dangerous terrain. It says duration four hours. And then we have stone mastery. Reduce energy cost on stone. And it lasts for six hours. Looks like we're losing sanity at this, you know, moment. Maybe we should get this. Increase sanity gain in events. Because it seems like it's ongoing. These seems like there's, it has to be toggled on. Like down here. So let's get the open-minded. Snowing already? Try to trek over there. What is this? Weather. Weather tomorrow cold. The weather changes every day. Weather can influence gameplay. Height. 
4128 meters depth zone is 6,000 meters at 6,000 meter height you reach the death zone in each death zone you lose oxygen uh, you discover some wild berries on a bush they are bright in color orange almost you hesitate they could be poisonous yet a little substance would do you a world of good eat as many as, as we can let's try a berry Oh, so it was good for us. The berries taste exotic and re-energize you. You are just about to reach into the bush for more when you stop. Your stomach tells you you've had enough. Right. Okay, let's keep going. A lot of ups and downs. There's something over there. Probably not worth it. Probably not. You know, just going climbing up, going back down, you know, probably, you know, it takes a toll. Using a lot of energy and things like that. What is this? You kidding? So the only way to get up there is we have to go all the way around like that? Okay. Let's do it. I think we're already here. We might as well just... Yeah, let's get go on down here. We're already in this area. What's it going to hurt? A billy goat. You encounter a common mountain goat. It's nibbling on some herbs. Let's approach it in a friendly manner. It might buck us and knock us off somewhere. The goat looks at you blankly. You decide to continue walking. All right. We have an event expert, special terrain expert, and a night climber. So we get reduced sanity loss in events. And then with the special terrain expert, whenever you suffer a dangerous terrain event, gain some experience. And night climbing. 
gain more experience in events during the night. What do you think? It says exceptional bonuses when climbing during the night. No doubt we'll be climbing at night. Let's get this too. We need to get this. Gotta add some night climbing in there because, hey, it's what we're doing. Let's use this and see what it does. Eagle Eye increases camera zoom into the next movement. Well, I can't see anything, so it'll be waste to use it. Time life toggles the speed at which the player moves. Only flavor has no effects on time. Alright, we're moving, guys. We are moving. We're losing energy and we're losing sanity. A golden eagle suddenly lands in front of you, its wings carrying it majestically to the ground. Fascinated, you watch it, and it watches you too, unafraid. You can't explain it, but the encounter feels magical. Fully wrapped up in this moment, you regain what? Warmth, sanity. Let's grab some at sanity. Moving on. Stop. Go ahead and get that treasure. Nearby the camp, there is a torn tent. You can take the time to search the intact tents. All right, so I thoroughly search the tents. I take a quick look around. I continue my journey. So if we thoroughly search, we're going to lose about 40 degrees in temperature. And then if we take a quick look, we'll just lose 18 uh, temperature degrees. Let's let's thoroughly search it. We might find something. OK, you find some equipment. All right, and it's daybreak. What we get? Some boots, heavy boots, minus 10% energy cost on stone. Let's, let's put these boots on. All right. We got a long way to go. I think we should stay on this side. What, what is that? Is that like a trait or something? Or should we stay on this side? There's one there. Let's stay on this side. Okay, it just uses a little bit of energy if we take that path. Take this path, it uses a lot. So let's just stay over here. Yeah, let's do that. Sure, there's a lot we'll be missing though. 
Uh oh. You once again encounter a common mountain goat. It's standing behind a rock and using its head to point informatically in the direction you're walking. It is trying to warn you. Or rather, is it trying to warn you? I'm going to hide behind the rocks. Walking just a few feet ahead of you is a large wildcat. It notices neither you nor the goat. All right. Dodge the bullet. Thank you, Billy Goat. You enter a cave that's dry and sheltered from the wind. In the rear of the cave, you notice a faint shimmer of light. You want to follow that light again. You follow the light. As you approach, you realize that it's coming from hundreds of fireflies. Fascinating. We have returned. We got some, you know, experience, but we'll go to the front and we can lie down. And if we lie down, we can gain some energy. What's this sleep long? We can also gain some more body temperature. All right, let's do that. We'll use the sleeping bag. Leveling up, enthusiasm, whenever you reach a point of interest, gain some energy. So I wonder if those little spinning things are like points of interest. Okay, then we have the warm up ability. Spend some energy to increase body temperature. And then we have acclimatized. Weakens the effect of cold weather. Let's do this since we are losing temperature and sometimes we'll be, you know, hiking at night. Let's use this eagle eye. All right, we got a better view. Oh, yeah. So I think it only, we can only use this one time until the next turn. Oh, well, until the cool down. All right, going on up. I don't know how to check the exclamation points ah uh, I see it's an ability all right let's go I guess we could use that if it's in an emergency or something Nightfall. You hear a soft squeaking coming from somewhere. You take a look around and discover a mountain hare cowering inside a rock fissure. It trembles as you approach, but does not try to flee. You suspect it might be injured. Oh. I don't want to kill anything. You know, I have a pet bunny, so I don't, I'm not going to kill any rabbits. Huh? 
How am I supposed to get over here when I don't have enough energy? We do have a tent, don't we? It's not going to do much for us for temperature, you know, keeping us warm. We definitely have to use... Oh man, we're going to have to use the tent, but it's not giving us much. Let's... I can't tell if there's anything there. What's this? This is going to be risky. I wonder if when uh, our body temperature lowers, will we start losing energy? Whoa, stop, stop, stop. Okay, we getting ready to die. We're gonna have to set up a tent, we're gonna have to use it. Do we have anything in there? Yeah, we're gonna have to use it. We'll sleep long to daytime. Really? It, it didn't even warm us up? I mean, is it really that cold up here? And look, there was a cave right there. We could have just went in there. Uh-oh. While climbing next to a flat crevice, you lose your footing and start sliding down. After a few feet, you manage to catch yourself. I quickly pull myself up the slope. I carefully let myself slide down the slope. lose the temperature or we can lose some energy we'll do the energy can't afford the temperature because it's ice there's an attractive fire pit but not a soul around. The flames seem to be fighting the icy wind for survival. Watching the fire dance in the face of the cold is almost meditative. You watch it for a while and regain energy. All right, so where to next?
It's almost like we're taking the wrong way. We really need to find some shelter. We can go here. Then here, here, we can find some things we could probably use. And then get this trait. Yeah, let's do that. It's like we're going up, then down, then up, then down. Guess what? I almost forgot about this. We can use this to warm up. We have plenty of energy. Let's go ahead and use this. Now let's go ahead and go into the cave. Okay, we're going into another cave. We can lie down, but it's daytime right now. If we sleep long, it'll be nighttime. Let's go ahead. We'll sleep long. At least it's not snowing like crazy. But that looks like ice. Alright, great. Let's head up. Hey, we can just go around this way. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Okay, we'll we'll bypass this. I don't want to walk on the the ice. We might slip. You venture into the mouth of a cave where you discover a bear cub looking up at you with terrified eyes. I'm not helping the cub because it's probably a bear in there. gonna make me crawl over that damn ice. Oh, so I just plotted my path. Yeah, let's do that. That's better. Then we can come back up. We'll go here. Slide around here, something like that. Or Yeah, let, let's do that. It's probably better if we do that. So we have three exclamation points. But if I plot it, oh no, let the computer do it. Let's see what happens. Don't slip, don't slip, don't slip. Northern Lights, what a sight.
Alright, so now we can head back up. Not using much energy at all. We're doing good. Must be the traits that we have. Uh oh, here we go. While moving through the rough, stony terrain, you step on a treacherous piece of rock, twisting your freaking ankle. Didn't seem too major. See, unnecessary climbing. That's the thing. It's almost like you have to move like a few steps at a time so you won't make unnecessary movements because. Each time you move, you use energy. You use you pretty much using resources, right? Okay, you discover an intact tent. There is nobody in sight, but the embers in the fire pit are still glowing. The camp is obviously being used by someone. It could contain some valuable items. You know what? I'm gonna search it. No, I better not. I better not. I better not. Because somebody could be out here and, you know, what if what if I took their stuff and something happened to them, right? Follow that light. It's fireflies. We got some experience. And we're going to lie down. Sleep briefly. And if we get too cold, we can always... Matter of fact, we'll just do that now. We'll warm up. We got three hours, so we can't do it. Okay. If I go here and go all around here, that means I'm going to have to come trek all the way back and go up this way. And let's, let's speed them up. Doesn't look realistic, does it? I'll slow it back down. I oh, discover a chest that's almost completely buried in the snow. Dig it out. It's going to use some energy, but we might find something in there that we need. What do we get? Crampons. Ooh, minus 20% of energy on ice. We could use that. Can we put them on? But this is stone, isn't it? That's ice, this is stone.
A thin wisp of smoke rises up into the sky in front of you. You turn a corner around the wall of a cliff and discover a campfire. Flames already licking the sides of the cans placed around it. Is it food? I collect snow to put out the fire. I stamp on the fire to put it out. I do nothing and continue my journey. What a freaking waste of time. I'm gaining nothing. This whole left side has been nothing but a waste. You cannot believe your eyes. A fallen antenna is blocking your path. I stay and look around. I can climb over the antenna and continue my journey, or I can take a detour and continue my journey that way. Let's look around. You are certain that the antenna is from the years of occupation. Maybe it was some kind of radio relay station, but what was it used for? You ponder as you continue on your way. We got some experience. Well, at least we leveled up. Okay, we have the careful steps, the night climber one, and they're energetic. Increase maximum energy, uh, lose less body temperature during the night. You know, it's all about that temperature because it seems like we're losing a lot of that. Now here we go. Trying to get to the top. Yeah, we're gonna have to go all the way around. You know, you never know what you'll see in these crevices. Okay, so we are going to have to go up. Definitely got to go up. go hey what if we took a little small nap we we'll don't have to use the tent it'll freeze us yeah I got an idea. We could exchange some energy for temperature and then try to go to sleep.
There's a cave here. We are really pushing it. We're nowhere near the top. Okay, entering another cave. Let's follow that light. Let's get some experience. Right? Let's slide down. Sleep long, we can get more energy, we exchange it out for this, and then this will get us closer to daytime. Okay, let's do the analysis. Let's sail. There's another cave over here. That means we have to go down. We don't want to go down. There's one, two. There's a trait or interest. We go this way and that way. that way. I guess it sounds like a plan. Let's roll. Let's roll out. Okay, another eagle. Let's warm up. Daybreak. It's a storm. We got to get in. Okay, in front of you, rocks and stones have been meticulously piled up to form a mound. A grave so far up here? I guess someone died. I search for clues as to who is buried here. I reflect and pay tribute to the dead you carefully nudge the rocks with your boot there is nothing there you bend down and find some old but usable equipment another mountaineer must be buried here you have lots of questions and no answers who were they how did they know about the island what happened to their companion who buried them? I'm taking the equipment. You ask the unknown climber for forgiveness, but you are sure they won't hold a grudge against you. After all, they have no use for the equipment anymore, but you do. So, we gain some body temperature, lost some sanity because we're doing some crazy stuff. 
got a warm cap. Oh yeah, we can use that. Oh yeah. It's going to be clear tomorrow. Like here, I should have put those boots on. Sleeping long, guys. Sleeping long. We're getting pretty high, guys. We're at like 5,000 meters. And I remember something about an oxygen tank. We have no mask, no anything. How do we get up? Now here's the thing, you gotta like like really pay close attention. From what I've played now, you can move too far and you'll miss something. See, we really can't see. We know that's there. Is there something over here? We don't know. See, that was a waste. That was a, a one step too many that I shouldn't have taken. small tunnel leading into the darkness. We don't even have a torch or anything. I'm not walking around. We might fall and break our leg or something. We had no choice, guys. We have to maximize energy you know I believe we're gonna have to go on that ice over there we have a trade up here that we can get but look how much let's use this this eagle eye okay so if we go over here we can get this 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 this, 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 and this. But if we stay on this side, we only have a chance to get this one. 
but we'll be able to make it up without probably slipping around on some ice. You know what I mean? And I bet you we have to go all the way back down. Oh, no. No, let's just let's keep traveling, guys. And we don't have... Do we, do we have any ice gear? I thought there was snow gear that we have. Okay, you hear a couple of loose stones rolling down the mountain. One of them hits you on the torso. And that took some energy away from my health right here. I just now saw that. So the movement is, if you missed before, it's just left click. You enter an expansive cave. Countless stalactites hang from, the, from its ceiling, some of which are longer than your arm. Water droplets trickle gently from the tips of the stalactites onto the rocks and into the pools below. The soothing, tinkling sound they make as they land leaves you feeling calm and relaxed. The rock formations must be many thousands of years old dating back to before the first traces of people on this island. It makes you happy to think that anything could endure for so long. You too are here to achieve something that will outlast you, something people will talk about for years to come. All right, let's keep it trucking. Gives you a lot of information up here. Looks like these rocks go behind this big uh, formation here. And this I don't know where it leads to, but we're going to stay on this side. As much as I would have loved to climb that ice over there. We're getting low in energy. You know, before it was temperature, but now it's energy that we're we're losing. Oh boy, the air is getting thin and your breath is heavy. You have entered the death zone. You pause for a moment to prepare for the difficult path towards the summit. go up here and suffocate because we have no oxygen here we go all 
All right, we just got, we just twisted our ankle. And it messed our energy up. We have no food? Oh. No food. We really need some, you know, energy. Gotta use the tent. We're too high up. And I don't see, okay, there's a cave dwelling there. But if I skip this... Let's see if we can do it. We'll go here, here, then here. Okay, wild berries. Energy, let's try one berry. All right, energy. Yes, we leveled up. Okay, we got three more. One looks like an upgrade called open-minded two, highly increased sanity. And then one with the stars, reduce energy costs of all climbing during the night. Gain more body temperature. We're good on body temperature. Let's do this. So far, we're, we're turning into a night owl, man. I know we better be finding some in, uh, some oxygen. I'm sorry. We got to find some oxygen. Okay, you discover a large leather saddlebag lying on the ground. Right next to it, you discover faded hoof prints. You find an intact tent in the saddlebag. Uh, yeah. Confirmed. How far do we have to go? Oh, we're almost there, guys. I think. Okay, going into... Oh, ooh! Strong smell! Let's follow that smell. You follow the smell and hear a growl. Oh, no! Fear wells up inside you. Before you can react, something bites your leg. Cursing and in pain, you flee the cave. Really? Damn. Damn. Damn, damn. So energy is stopping us from going up there. All right, we're gonna use one of these tents.
So if I try to get some experience, it's going to use four hours. And it's going to take some of our oxygen, something we don't have. Okay, here we go. A wide crevice is blocking your way. There is a snow bridge that you could use to cross it, but you are not certain that it's stable. Cross it or go around it. We gotta cross, we can't afford it. A few steps on the snow bridge, the snow gives away. You hit the other side of the crevice hard, but manage to catch your fall. Wow. That was luck, man. We could have just fell to our doom. What I'm looking at, I'm trying to look and see if there's anything over here. That we could possibly get before we go up. It's starting to get cold again. So close. Okay, we can have an active fire pit, but no solar round. We gotta get that energy. We have to get the energy. Takes up that much. Steps have been hewn into the stone, leading you to a pedestal of sorts. Some type of religious site or shrine, maybe. You're not a particularly spiritual person, but somehow this place feels holy. It might just be your imagination, but you pray to the shrine for... Energy. I mean, it's just been like an energy thing. I think we should go over there instead of trying to just go up here. I, I think it would just be better. I mean, because we can get some other things while we're headed that way. Let's let's do that. It's gonna be night soon. And well, we can nab some things as we're you know walking over. Let's 
go ahead and get this. That's what I mean, you know, a couple of steps at a time. Okay, we got a bird's nest that is extremely unusual at this altitude. It's a pterodactyl. You find a vacuum flask filled with tea in the nest. So this will give us some energy or rather heat, body temperature. Okay, we still have to keep an eye on this oxygen. Is it risky trying to go over there? Like, say for instance, we went to the top. It's only using a little bit of, of oxygen though. Let's do it. There needs to be some type of oxygen, some type of mask you know, something that we can use. Okay, we're at the deer stand again. Oh, but it says uh, you spot a deer stand between two skeletal trees just ahead of you. As you consider walking over to the deer stand to search it for provisions, you hear a rumbling. It sounds like an avalanche. You see the snow cloud on the horizon is heading straight for you. If I search it, I could die. I'm not even trying to die here. Let's go up. And then get this. Hit the cave on down and around. So it's not quite over for us just yet. Okay, a large leather saddlebag. Yes, is there something in it? Another tent. Let's rearrange some things. I think that does it. I wonder how many traits are in the game. Like, how many can you choose? You discover a tree. You do not know how it could have survived at this altitude, but the sight of it comforts you. Got some sanity. Good look, because we're heading up here. Let's follow that light. Let's go back to the entrance. We're going to sleep. And since we have plenty of tents, which we don't need it because we're in a cave, I'm gonna sleep long. Ooh, look. Let's take it easy. <sighs> we are cutting it.
You reach a small plateau with monoliths arranged in a circle. The remnants of an ancient culture? A figure in a long cloak is crouching on the ground, muttering something unintelligible. Then they rise and knock over the stone pillars one by one. There's something strange about this figure, and you are filled with fear. Nevertheless, you are unable to take your eyes off of them. Eventually, they notice you and give you an angry look. You want to say something, but you can't get your words out. Then they hurry away, leaving you bewildered. Level up. Alright. Enthusiasm 1. Night Climber 2. Perseverance. Alright. Whenever you reach a point of interest, you gain some energy. Uh, you lose even, even less temperature during the night. We're fine on temperature. Or we can have the weakens the effect of stormy weather. Yeah, when well, something happens, can we please get some energy? Because everything is happening to us. Okay, we have that old lady sitting, you know, in her crooked hut. I guess we're just going to take the health. We're warm enough. Going on up. It's like the developers didn't want you to see too much you know it's very limited so you have to use that eagle eye to see more of your surroundings hey look at that I'm not even taking a chance because we're running low on oxygen Music is very subtle. You enter a cave, it's dry and sheltered. Not sleep. Not long though. to get up there. All right, let's do it. can do it. It's 
So where were we? Down there somewhere? You lean back against a rock face. A distant melody reaches your ear, soft and tender and beautiful. You close your eyes for a moment, breathing deeply and evenly. You keep listening. The music seems to be coming from inside the mountain. Could it be yet another legacy of the occupiers? Or maybe its origins are more mysterious. Whatever it is, it makes you smile. All right, guys, this is it. We done it. All right, you've made it to the summit. You don't waste any time. You switch your instruments on immediately. The rising pitch of the beat makes your heart skip a beat, but then reality hits you like a punch to the gut. You might be measuring high levels of electromagnetic radiation, but the levels are still lower than you expected. It's not enough to prove your theory though. You are tired and depressed. You cast your eyes about aimlessly. A second peak looms behind a shroud of mist, higher than the first, and just like that, your confidence comes rushing back. You are certain that the radiation levels there will be higher than here. But first, you need to head back and find a safe place to rest and recover. Got some experience? Well, you gotta go down there. But we made it to the top. So what is this like continuing the game? This is like a continuance. Cool. But you know, guys, I'm gonna leave it here. Well, this guy is freezing. Or it looks like a lady. But yeah, I'm gonna leave it here. And let's see what the analytics are doing. You know it's probably sitting on 60. <laughs> yeah. So guys, I'm gonna leave it right here. We climbed this mountain and we made it to the top and I'm so glad. Did it on the first try. I didn't think I was gonna make it. I thought we was gonna suffocate, which we still might because we are running out of oxygen quick. But like I said, I'm gonna leave it here and I appreciate you watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Mean Poo, 